Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at remote file inclusion. We will explain what the vulnerability is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is a remote file inclusion? Remote file inclusion is a vulnerability that allows files hosted on another server to be included and executed as if they were part of the application. What causes remote file inclusion? This vulnerability exploits the dynamic file include mechanism that exists in some programming frameworks. A remote file inclusion is possible when uncontrolled user input, such as form values or request headers, are used to generate file include commands. To understand the remote file inclusion vulnerability, let's look at an example. Let's say a vulnerable site uses the page parameter, which it includes to dynamically build the content of the site. An attacker hosts a malicious script on the site. When included, the script will execute shell commands chosen by the attacker. The attacker exploits the page parameter to include his script into the code of the site. Since his script is part of the current page, he is now able to run OS commands. Remote file inclusion vulnerabilities can have significant impacts. The application could be impacted in many ways since any kind of script could be included and executed. Getting a web shell on the server could give complete control to an attacker. Customer data could be accessed and manipulated and malware could be uploaded to the server leading to privacy issues or loss of trust causing reputational and financial damages. To prevent remote file inclusion, developers should never directly pass user input to file include commands. It is recommended to use an indirect reference map instead. Alternatively, apply whitelist validation against all user controllable input, such as form parameters, cookies and HTTP headers. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, Remote File Inclusion.